I'm Bev Andraki here to talk to you about our mastery-based math program at LS Tech. We use what's known as blended learning, which combines the computer with face-to-face -face instruction. Research has shown that it is better combined than one or the other. It leads students to be self-advocates and it prepares them for a technologically filled future. The program that we use is Alex, and this program allows students to work at their own pace. They um, um, can move when they're ready to move, they keep track of their own progress, they have unlimited opportunities to practice, and they have access to many different ways to learn the topics. In ninth grade, students' classes meet once a week for 47 minutes, and two days a week they have a double. During the technology cycle, they meet in what's known as literacy lab, and they'll meet once a week. For both groups, the recommended minimum amount of time for homework is two hours per week, so maybe 20 minutes a night. Um, the shop cycle or trade cycle or technology cycle uh, is usually smaller groups, so it allows for more individual instruction. When you look at the report card, you're going to see a P or an F. And a P means that the student is meeting expectations. They are meeting the minimum district goals that they need to do per quarter. And typically, that is 1 to 1.5 goals a quarter, uh, depending on the length of the quarter and what goal they're working on. Uh, if they are working well, keeping their notebooks, completing homework. An F means they are not meeting expectation. Once the course is completed, the grade is based on three things. 34% is district summative assessments, which are basically your typical tests that you might expect. 33% are performance-based assessments, which are real-world application problems. And then the other 33% is what they call PI completion. Each Alex goal has a percent uh, complete, and that is all combined to make that third part of the grade. Pre-algebra is slightly different in that the grade is an average of the DSAs and PI completion. So, does your child need to fin al finish algebra in the first year? Finishing a course a year is recommended. Uh, students can work at their own pace, but each student needs to earn three credits before they graduate. During ninth and 10th grade, students get math every day, but as juniors and seniors, they only have it during the academic cycle, which means half of the year. So we really would encourage the students to finish a credit in freshman year, a credit in sophomore year, and then if there's a harder topic for their third credit, they have the two years to finish and get that third credit in. We do have summer hours that allow students, if they need extra time to make up, um, it's obviously much smaller grouping, teachers are available to help, and assessments. If a student is working on Alex over the summer on their own, they can come in to take the assessment and move ahead. So how can you help your child at home? Check the weekly progress report that's sent to your email. Ensure that they are working on the program at home and spending time on homework. Encourage good note taking. As they work through topics, they should be taking notes. At the beginning of the year, they are given lessons on how to take good notes, and they have an example of what a good notebook would look like. Students should have two notebooks, one for putting their notes down and one that is where they do their work. And that notebook with the notes is a reference that they can use. Uh, you can work through questions with your child, have them try to explain it to you, and there are resources available. Resources include an explain button, which um, on each problem, if they click that, sometimes there's more than one explanation, they show them how to work through the problem. There's also a check your answer. Once a student puts an answer in, they can click this button and see the steps they would have needed to take to solve the answer. There is an online textbook that we have. There are instructor resources available within the program. Uh, students can always search the internet for a reputable site like Khan Academy that might show how to do some math problems. You can ask a friend to help or use class notes. So why is the teacher not teaching the normal way? Mastery-based learning is slightly different. It's a combination of whole class, but oftentimes small groups or individualized instruction based on where the students are. Students will be grouped based on the topics that they're working with, and this really helps students to persevere, ask for help when necessary. The teacher is always available if a student gets stuck, but it does help the child learn to try something instead of just waiting for the teacher to come and help. Communication with the teacher is always available. 
Every question has a message teacher option. So if the student is home and is really stuck, if they hit this, the teacher will know the next day that they're gonna need help. Students complete a daily exit ticket too as they leave the class so they can reflect on how they did and ask for help on specific topics. So the next day when they're grouped, they might be grouped based on the help that they need. So please join us in September for our technology night where we will show you more of the program and you can see what it looks like and what to look for in terms of progress for your child. Thank you.